So in the latest version of Gutenberg, there was a big update that lets us customize the templates for post category pages. Now WooCommerce products are actually just post types under the bonnet. So that means we have access now to customize the category pages for WooCommerce. Here's an example of something I built pretty quickly. This is the men's category page and it looks nothing like the themes default category page. And it gives me and you complete control over the layout this, of this page. And obviously your category pages are a really important page to drive sales on your WooCommerce site. So the more control you have over these pages, the better. There are three things that I'm going to show you how to do today. Firstly, how to create a base category page that will be applied to all your WooCommerce category pages. Secondly, how to create a page template that you can apply to just a single category page. And thirdly, a cheat way to create a unique category page if you're not using a block theme. Right, so this is how you can create a page for a specific category in WooCommerce. And you go to Appearance and then Editor. That'll load in the full site editor. Remember, you'll only see that option if you're using a block theme. I'm going to show you a way to do this if you're not using a block theme in a few minutes. Then you click on Templates. You'll see this is where all your page templates are listed. There's the one I've already created for my product type men. I'm going to create a new one for women though. So click on add new and then you scroll down here and find category product category down here with the brackets. Click on that. Then it's going to ask you to choose which category you want this to apply to. So I'm going to go women. You'll notice as well you can also do subcategories here. Click women and that will just load in the editor and now you basically can build this page however you like. So I'm going to work super fast here. I'm going to add a header in now underneath this I'm just going to add the featured product block which is a block that comes with WooCommerce block so you can add any block you like in here and it'll create this nice kind of hero image out of it. And then underneath here I'm just going to add another WooCommerce block and WooCommerce comes with a whole bunch of free blocks you just scroll all the way down to the bottom of your blocks typically that's where they're found and you'll see all the blocks that come with WooCommerce. Now I won't go through them all today, but you'll see there is one here which is called Products by Category. That basically lets me bring a grid of products in by specific category. So I'm just gonna choose Women. You can also customize it over on the right here. You can change the number of columns and number of rows. And you can also change the content over here as well, whether you show things like the Add to Cart button. I'm okay with those, so I'm gonna click Done. That'll bring my women's products grid into this page. And you can hopefully sense now, or see now, how I can actually lay this and design this, this category page however I like. So all I have to do now is save that template. We'll see that now the women's template, the women's category page is just using that page template that I just created. And if we take a look at the men's category page, you'll see that's different again, and it's got some more fancy block layouts in it. That's the beauty of this process, that you can use any third-party blocks you like in your product pages. This page is actually built using, let me just go from top to bottom how this is built. This is using the columns block, which is set the background by using a group block. I'll show you the behind the scenes in a second of this. This is a heading block. This is actually a product masonry block which comes as part of our storefront blocks plugin. I will put a link to this in the description below to that. This is another heading block. This is a flip book block, which again is part of the storefront blocks plugin library of blocks. And then down here we've got this on sale section. Now these are hand picked products which come from the WooCommerce free block. And let me take you behind the scenes. This is the men's template page that I created using this page. And if we look at the blocks we're using, using the list view, which I encourage you to always do, this first group here contains the columns block, just two columns with a heading block and a paragraph, two paragraph blocks and an image block here. And using the group block, that's why the group block is kind of cool, I just set a background color to the whole section. Further on down here, this is just a headings block, which I've called bestsellers. Now this is using one of our storefront blocks, blocks called the product, called the masonry product grid where you can create these beautiful product masonries uh, layouts. And in here, we've just set the product category to men. And then further on down here, we have a group block. And all we've done here is we've got this flip book block. We've got a heading block, sorry, first, and then we've got a product flip book block, which again is part of our storefront blocks blocks. Again, link in the description below. And then finally, we've got a group block, which contains uh, a heading block, which says on sale. And then we're using the free WooCommerce products block, uh, the hand-picked products block to have this bottom section. But then you can create these really super cool category pages, which are a step above the normal category pages. And it lets you tailor them 
to the audience that's viewing them. So I think it's a really, really cool thing you can do pretty easily now. By the way, if you want to revert your page templates to the original themes layouts, you just go to your page templates and let's say I no longer want an individual women category page. Just find the three dots over on the right, click on those three dots and click delete. It will delete that template. So when you go back and view that template now or that page or that category and go to women, that will just inherit the normal style for the theme. So next up, I want to show you how you can edit the base category page template that will apply to all your categories unless they've been overridden like the one with the men here. So if I click on women, here and accessories. They're both using the same base product category template from WooCommerce. But what happens if you want to change this as well to make this a bit more interesting? Well, you can now do that. You will need a plugin to do that at the moment. And that's where our Storefront Blocks plugin comes in. Let me just show you how this works. Because the, the beauty about this, it can dynamically adapt on the context that it's in. So if, it, if it's in the men's category page, it'll dynamically bring in the men's category products. Let me show you, it'll, it'll make more sense once I've done it. So again, go to your templates. You'll see there is a template here called Products by Category. If I click on that, that'll load in the base category page for all your products unless they've been overridden in the way I just showed you. Let's click on the list view so we can see this. So when you first load this page, it'll have this Woo product, product Grid block, which is essentially what's building your page at the moment. So don't remove that block unless you are using the Storefront Blocks plugin at the moment. So I'm going to delete that and just build out this from scratch. Now with Storefront Blocks, we've got a whole bunch of blocks that let you basically create really fancy WooCommerce pages, lots of different layouts like masonry grids, square grids, flip books, sliders, all sorts of whizzy stuff. But the essential part of this process is they let you dynamically bring content in. So all I'm going to do to start with is bring in this product category title block here. And I'm going to add it here into this group block. That's going to bring in dynamically the title of my product category into this section. And then underneath this, just to work really, really quick, let's add another block here. And I'm a big fan of the masonry block, so I'm going to add that one in here. Uh, what we're after is the masonry product grid. And that's going to bring the masonry product grid in. Now the key bit over here is on the right when we select inherit global query. What that means is when it's shown in a women's page, it'll bring in the women's products. When it's shown in an accessories page, it'll bring those products of that type in. And there we go, there's our new women's page. And let's go to our accessories page, both using the same template, but they've been changed by me. And again, if you wanna change it again, you can go back here and just amend this page you like. But the key bit is we're inheriting this global query, which at the moment you can't do in the free WooCommerce blocks. So if you do wanna do this and you want really fancy blocks, check out Storefront Blocks. And then finally, here's a way that you can create completely unique category pages if you're not using a block theme. In this case, I'm using Astra. This is the men's page. This is the women's page, both using the base template, but you'll see the accessories page is completely unique. This is a perfectly valid way of doing it. It is quite manual. That's the only drawback of it. So the way you do it is you create a new page. Here we go. So I'm going to create a new women's um, category page and you can call this page whatever you like I'm going to call it women and then you can design this page however you like again just using the block editor and I'm just going to bring in products by category and I'm going to bring in products by women and now obviously I could design this page however I like put whatever content I like into it but that's step one create and design the page however you like step two you need to add a redirect plugin because what we're going to do is we're going to redirect the normal dynamically created WooCommerce category page to that new page. Now, the one I've used here is this one here. Again, this is free. This is all free, this method. This is called 301 redirects. I'll put a link to it in the description below if I can remember. Just add that plugin. And now what you're going to do is you're going to redirect your new page that you've just built to the base category page. So just go and grab the URL of that new page that you've just built. So in my case, this is the page. And all I'm going to do is copy that URL at the top there. Copy that. Then you're going to go to the uh, dashboard back here. And you're going to go to settings and 301 redirects. And you're going to set up a new redirect where you're going to go from your, basically your um, existing dynamic page, which is that one there. That's the one we want to redirect people from. So that's the first link you put in, put it in that box. Then the second link, you get the URL from your page that you've just created, which I've just done. Click Save. And now when somebody visits your site and they click on Women, instead of going to the normal WooCommerce page, they're going to come to the page that you designed. 
Mine needs a little bit of work, but you get the idea. You can design these category pages however you like. If you want to test this out for yourself and have a play, then I've set you up a one-click website, which I've linked to in the description below. Just click on that link and it will fire you up a website with everything pre-installed so you can have a play for yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit that like button now, it'd be amazing because it really, really, really helps spread the word of the channel. And every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <coughs>